Episode 4 As Alex stepped out of his office building into the cool, quiet night, the world around him seemed eerily still. It was 2 a.m. An hour when the city's relentless energy finally wanes. Leaving behind a subdued silence punctuated only by distant traffic and the occasional murmur of the night wind. His footsteps echoed into the empty parking lot as he made his way to his car, his mind swirling with the intense and mystical encounter he had just experienced with Queen Bringer of Good Hope. Driving home, the streets were nearly empty. The usual clamor of the city reduced to a whisper. The sparse streetlights cast long shadows and Alex felt a mixture of exhaustion and an odd buzzing energy. Every turn of the road seemed to mirror the twists and turns of his thoughts. He mulled over Queen's words, her calm presence and the unsettling yet intriguing task she had left him with writing his own obituary. As he drove, a sense of betrayal nagged at him. He couldn't shake the feeling that his assistant had overstepped by allowing Queen into his office so late without explicit permission. Trust, a cornerstone of his interactions, felt slightly eroded. Yet part of him wondered if this unexpected meeting was exactly what he needed. A push out of his comfort zone by forces unseen and words unspoken. Arriving home, Alex found sleep elusive. He tossed and turned, his mind a battlefield of questions and revelations. Why had Queen chosen such a strange hour for their meeting? What was the full extent of the journey she was guiding him on? And beneath these questions lay a deeper, almost primal curiosity about the nature of his legacy and the truth of his mortality. The night stretched on each hour marked by the soft ticking of the clock in his room, reminding him of the passing time, time that he had always fought to control and capitalize on, yet now seemed to slip through his fingers like grains of sand. The idea of drafting his obituary loomed in his thoughts, both a challenge and a beacon. By the time dawn painted the sky with the first light of morning, Alex had made a decision. Despite his reservations, he would confront his assistant about the breach of trust, seeking to understand her reasons while reinforcing the boundaries of their professional relationship. This encounter with Queen, unsettling yet illuminating, had indeed sparked a need within him, a need to explore and understand the deeper currents of his life. Intrigued and somewhat apprehensive, Alex realized that this journey might just be the mystical encounter his soul had been silently craving. As the new day began, he felt a cautious readiness to dive into the depths of this unexpected exploration, to uncover the layers of his being and perhaps emerge, reborn, from the profound introspection Queen had initiated. 
As Alex sat down to watch the movie Queen had sent, he was still wrestling with the idea of writing his obituary. It felt like a surreal experience, especially without fully understanding the depths and personal significance behind such a task. As if sensing his need for context, Queen began the video not with instructions, but with a story. Her story. Alex, before we begin, let me share why this exercise of writing an obituary is crucial. Not just as a reflection, but as a transformation. Queen's image on the screen spoke with solemn clarity. I was born in Soweto, South Africa, during the tumultuous era of apartheid. Growing up, I witnessed unthinkable horrors that no child should ever see. Death was a frequent visitor in our community and the traumas of those days left deep scars. She paused, her expression somber yet resolute. The stench of death, the sights of injustice didn't just affect me physically, but wounded my spirit profoundly. Eventually, I moved to America to escape that environment and to heal. Investing over $380,000 in therapy to overcome the complex PTSD caused by my early experiences. Five years after moving to America, I invited my younger sister to join me, hoping to offer her the same chance to heal and grow. Unfortunately, she was not interested in healing. Unbeknownst to me, she harbored envy and resentment, so intense that it led her to betray me in the most unimaginable way. Queen's tone hardened slightly as she recounted the betrayal. My sister plotted with a cult leader to have me kidnapped, beaten, raped, and killed so that she could steal my identity for her own gain. Discovering this plan nearly destroyed me. The betrayal by someone I loved and trusted shook the very foundation of my existence. Queen let the gravity of her words sink in before continuing. But I emerged from that darkness with a fierce determination. I decided my life wouldn't end as a tale of victimhood and sorrow. Instead, I chose to use my experience as a catalyst for creating something positive. That no matter how harrowing one's past might be, it is possible to forge a legacy of honor and resilience. The video cut closer to Queen's face, her eyes earnest and encouraging. This is why I developed this process of writing an obituary. Alex, it's not just about confronting death. It's about actively shaping the legacy you wish to leave behind. It's a declaration of how you choose to be remembered, influencing not just your own path, but potentially inspiring others who hear your story. Now, I ask you to think deeply about the seeds you want to plant for your future, Queen concluded. Consider the legacy you wish to create through the acts of your life. How do you want to be remembered? 
What impact do you want to leave on the world? This obituary is your roadmap, guiding you through healing and towards a rebirth of your own making. As the video ended, Alex felt a newfound respect and understanding for the task ahead. Inspired by Queen's courage and clarity, he felt ready to tackle the obituary, seeing it not as an end, but as seeing it not as an end, but as a vital step in crafting the legacy of his own continued journey. As Alex settled into the challenging task of drafting his obituary, he was not just looking to summarize his past, but to actively engage with it, especially the themes of betrayal and mistrust that had deeply affected him. Under the thoughtful guidance of Queen Bringer of Good Hope, Alex began to see his task as a profound chance to reflect on the interconnectedness of his life experiences, much like the natural cycle where a falling leaf nourishes the soil, enabling the tree to grow stronger. He understood that life in all its complexity is fundamentally about relationships and connections. Just as the leaves descend to the ground is not an end but a transformation that fosters new growth. Each experience and relationship in his life, even those marked by pain, were crucial for his personal development. Alex realized that failures in understanding the interconnected nature of these relationships had previously led him to plant seeds, unintentional choices, and reactions that grew into future scenarios filled with harm and disappointment. Guided by this new perspective, Alex approached the obituary not merely as a reflection of what had been, but as a blueprint for what could be. He saw it as a chance to redefine his legacy, drawing from every lesson learned, from each relationship, and turning past adversities into stepping stones for a richer, more interconnected existence. In the contemplative space of his home, Alex faced the first of Queen's guiding questions, a deep dive into the reservoir of his past pains. Number one, questioning the pain. Alex, reflect on the moments of betrayal you've experienced. Queen's voice echoed in his head. Her instructions clear even in her absence. What emotions surge through you when you recall these incidents? How have these feelings lingered in your daily life and decision-making? This question wasn't just a call to remember the events, but an invitation to explore the raw unfiltered emotions associated with them. Alex took a deep breath, allowing himself to revisit the feelings of betrayal. Was it anger, sadness, or perhaps a profound disappointment that dominated? Each emotion was like a thread weaving through the fabric of his current self, influencing how he interacted with others and how he built or avoided relationships. How have these experiences reshaped your views on trust and relationships? Queen's follow-up questions pondered deeper. 
Alex pondered how each betrayal had erected walls around him, walls that were meant to protect but often isolated. Did he become overly cautious, perhaps even cynical about new relationships? How had his approach to trust changed in professional settings and personal interactions? By identifying these emotions and their impacts, Alex was not only acknowledging the pain, but also mapping out how it had invisibly directed many aspects of his life. This reflection was crucial for understanding his defensive mechanisms and was the first step towards disentangling his genuine self from the protective layers he had constructed. This deep introspection was aimed to lay the groundwork for healing and transformation, allowing Alex to reclaim the narrative of his life from the shadows of past betrayals. As he journaled his responses, Alex wasn't just answering Queen's questions. He was initiating a dialogue with himself, one that was overdue but essential for moving forward with clarity and renewed trust in his journey. Question two, identifying the lessons. Continuing his deep dive into self-reflection, Alex moved to the next prompt from Queen, focusing on extracting the lessons from his past betrayals. What have I truly learned from these painful experiences? He asked himself pen poised over his journal. He considered each major incident of betrayal and tried to distill the wisdom gained from them. As he reflected, Alex realized that these experiences, while initially devastating, had indeed contributed significantly to his personal and professional growth. They had taught him the importance of due diligence in personal and business relationships, honing his instincts and making him a more discerning judge of character. They had also revealed the strength of his resilience, his ability to bounce back from setbacks, to rebuild and move forward sometimes from scratch. Each betrayal, each recovery had added layers to his character, making him not only a tougher, but also a more compassionate leader. He recognized the value in these hard earned lessons and began to appreciate how they had molded him into the person and leader he was today. Examining the impact. The third question prompted Alex to consider how these experiences had influenced his leadership style and interpersonal relationships. Have these events made me more cautious or have they inspired me to lead with greater openness and understanding? He pondered. This inquiry required him to evaluate the dual nature of his reactions to past betrayals, both the instinct to protect himself and the drive to connect more authentically with others. Alex acknowledged that while he had become more cautious, setting firmer boundaries and being more meticulous in his trust. These changes were not entirely negative. They had made him a more thoughtful leader, one who considered decisions carefully and valued trust as a precious commodity to be earned and respected. Simultaneously, these painful experiences had unexpectedly opened his heart in other ways. They had deepened his empathy, making him more attuned to the struggles and vulnerabilities of others around him. 
This blend of caution and compassion had surprisingly made him a more effective leader. One who could protect his team while encouraging a culture of openness and mutual support. Through this introspective exercise, Alex was beginning to see his past not as a series of unfortunate events, but as a crucible that had forged his current identity. He was not only uncovering the lessons embedded in his experiences, but was also learning to integrate these insights into a more balanced and fulfilling approach to life and leadership. This reflection was proving to be a powerful tool, guiding him towards a deeper understanding of himself and how he wished to navigate the world moving forward. Envisioning the change. Alex approached the fourth question with a sense of hopeful anticipation. What changes in your professional and personal life? How do you interact differently with those around you? This prompt invited Alex to visualize his future self, one who has transcended the scars of past betrayals. In this envisioned future, Alex saw himself more connected and engaged with his team and loved ones. Freed from the binds of past pains, he interacted with a genuine openness, no longer shadowed by the fear of being hurt. He imagined leading with a vulnerability that was not a liability, but a strength, fostering a culture where honesty and mutual respect were the norms, not exceptions. He saw his relationships flourishing, built on a foundation of trust that was both given freely and reciprocated. Professionally, Alex visualized leading projects and initiatives, not just with strategic acumen, but with a heart fully invested in the well-being of his team and the community his work impacted. With these visions fresh in his mind, Alex turned to the final and perhaps the most profound question. Based on what you've learned and how you've grown, what do you want your legacy to be? How do you want to be remembered by your colleagues, friends, and family? Alex began to draft his obituary initially outlining his professional achievements and roles. However, he quickly dove deeper, influenced by the transformative questions. He wrote earnestly about the lessons learned from each betrayal, the importance of building genuine trust and maintaining transparency in all dealings. He reflected on his journey from guardedness to openness, highlighting his commitment to leading with empathy and vulnerability. As he crafted each sentence, Alex realized that this exercise was not merely about summarizing his life, but about shaping the future contours of his existence. His obituary was evolving into a manifesto for living, a declaration of his values, aspirations, and the enduring impact he wished to leave. Through this introspective process, Alex transformed his fears and doubts into a powerful statement of life, framing his past not as a series of setbacks, but as essential growth phases towards a purpose-driven existence. His obituary became more than a document, 
it was a testament to his resilience, a blueprint for future actions, and a commitment to live a life marked by significance and inspiration. This profound reflection did not just prepare him to face his eventual end with peace. It equipped him with a renewed vision for how to live each day more fully, ensuring that his legacy would be one of impact and meaningful connections. The act of writing his obituary, guided by Queen's thoughtful questions, became a transformative journey, reaffirming his life's purpose and helping him to navigate his path forward with clarity and conviction. After Alex put down his pen, having completed the draft of his obituary, he leaned back in his chair. A profound sense of catharsis washing over him. The room was quiet, except for the gentle ticking of the clock. Each sound marking the passage of time that seemed both a reminder of mortality and a prompt to live fully. The act of writing his obituary had been unexpectedly transformative. Initially, it had seemed like a grim task, a confrontation with the inevitability of death. But as he articulated his experiences, his values, and his visions, it became a powerful affirmation of life and his intentions for the future. He felt as though he had laid out a roadmap for the legacy he wanted to leave. Not just in terms of accomplishments, but in the quality of relationships he aimed to nurture and the personal growth he still sought to achieve. Alex felt a newfound clarity and purpose. The fears and doubts that had once clouded his judgment seemed diminished. Their power over him reduced by his clear articulation of how he wished to be remembered. He realized that each day offered a new opportunity to add to his legacy, to live up to the ideals he had set for himself in his obituary. Most importantly, Alex felt a deep connection to his own life story, seeing it not as a series of random events, but as a cohesive narrative that he could shape and direct. He felt empowered, inspired, and ready to approach life with a vigor and openness that had eluded him before. This exercise, guided by Queen's wisdom, had not only helped him to reconcile with his past, but also motivated him to actively craft the future he truly desired. So, stay tuned for the next episode of Whispers of Wisdom, where Alex delves deep into his legacy confronting his fears and aspirations as he crafts an obituary that is both a farewell and a beacon for future generations. Mm-hmm.